Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel English for all reasons good. Today I am here with yet another example of writing a descriptive paragraph based on a person. The topic that I have taken today is the postman of your locality. It is again in 100 to 120 words of 5 marks. Now again if you have watched my previous videos so you will know that we will be brainstorming it using the acronym. So the acronym to be used is tap on herb. So let's expand using this acronym. So from T traits. So I have taken smiling, polite and helpful appearance. So postman is usually seen in khaki uniform. So the person that I am talking about, he is in his middle age, wears spectacles and worn out slippers. Profession from P, he is a postman. Then from O, it is others perception about him or her. So he is friendly with children. N is for name and the name is not given. So we are not using it. H for habits. So he is punctual. He rings the bell of a cycle in a particular way. From E, it is emotions and he is very sentimental. Then role in your life. Times have changed and now rarely he comes because there are not many people who write letters now. Now relationship with the writers, obviously there is no relationship. He is a postman, a government servant. Now here is the paragraph, the postman of our locality. So let's read it. Twing, twing, rings the bell, bicycle bell twice and we know the postman is here. This is his unique style since I was a kid. The postman of our locality is a middle-aged man with an ever smiling face. I have always seen him in khaki uniform, pedaling his same old cycle, wearing those worn out slippers for years. Once I saw him in tears reading out a letter to our old neighbor whose children are abroad. People of our locality say that he is always ready to help and is friendly with kids. Though times have changed and people rarely write letters to each other, but still he is punctual and performs his duty diligently. Because of his cheerful personality, he is always welcome in our locality. So this is the paragraph. Now let's scan the paragraph and see if we have used each and every point that we have brainstormed. So now look at the beginning. So it's not a usual beginning by writing the name that so and so is the postman of our locality. So the beginning, twing twing rings the bicycle bell twice and we know that the postman is here. So in the, if you remember in the acronym, so we have written this point in habits. So he has a habit of ringing the bicycle bell in a particular way. So this is his unique style since I was a kid. The postman of our locality is a middle-aged man. So here the appearance, his physical appearance, it has come with an ever smiling face and middle-aged man. Then khaki uniform. So we talked about it. So he's always seen in khaki uniform, peddling his old cycle, wearing those worn out slippers for years. Now here this thing, it creates a picture also. This is a sense of sight used. He is always seen in a khaki uniform peddling his same old cycle wearing those worn out slippers for years. Once I saw him in tears reading out a letter to our old neighbor. Now this again creates a picture in our mind. So this is again sense of hearing. People of our locality say that he is always ready to help and is friendly with kids. So these are again his other qualities. Now he talk about the role, role of a postman. Now. Is, is it required these days? So we write that though times have changed, so people rarely write letters to each other, but still he is punctual. So he has a habit of this. So he, he is punctual by his habit and he performs his duty diligently. Now because of his cheerful personality, he is always welcome in our locality. So a summing up, this is the closing, a appropriate closing. So like this you have, you can develop your paragraph using the acronym and it becomes very easy for you. So this is the second example that I have discussed and I hope that by now using or use of that acronym is very clear to you. Now the 
next category that I'll be discussing in the coming videos, it will consist of writing a paragraph, a descriptive paragraph on a celebrity or a famous leader. Now there'll be slight change in this than the previous uh, paragraphs that we have written. So I'll be talking about it in my upcoming videos. So happy watching. Thank you for watching.